Hey, good morning, everybody. So I want to show you how to take any shape and be able to give it the domed side or top, okay? So first thing is you need to have your basic form. And if it's slightly leather hard, that would be super helpful. If it's really floppy, it can be a little bit uh, difficult to do. But this can be any shape. I'm going to use a triangle, but you can use literally any shape. It could be for a square or a circle or some weird crazy thing. It's totally up to you. So I have another slab that is fresh clay already rolled out. So this one's still like super squishy. You can see how it left a mark on the table. And what I'm going to do to start with is just cut out just a really big basic shape. It doesn't have to match the shape of the project itself. Uh, it just has to be bigger than the shape that you're using. Okay. So now that I have this cut out and it's bigger than this triangle, I'm going to set it on top and I'm going to support from the outside. I'm going to lift just a little bit and I'm going to gently push down just a little bit. Now, if you want it to just be a slight dome, then you're going to do this a little bit. If you want it to be a really tall dome, then you're going to end up wanting to do it a lot. And you're really going to need to spend some time like kind of lifting the clay and allowing it to have that space um, to be able to push it. But so I'm just going to kind of do my basic shape. I'm just gently pushing it with my finger. This does thin out the slab a little bit. So like you just got to be careful that you start with your one fourth inch thick slab and you don't get too much thinner than that. Okay, so now you can see I have an indent that's basically the same shape that I have on here, right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is if I cut it off to like if I cut off on the inside, I'm not going to have any room for slipping and scoring. So what I am going to do is flip it over real quick and I'm going to lightly trace the outside because I know I don't want to cut it any smaller than where I'm tracing. Okay. So I don't want to cut it any smaller than that. Now I do want to let this sit here for a little while. So if you are, cause I want it to stiffen up just a little bit. So, you know, if it's, you're doing this towards the beginning of class, then, you know, just work on another project, glaze something, do some extra credit, something like that, work in your sketchbook, whatever you need to do, but let it sit for just a little bit. Okay. So once it's sat there for a little bit, when you pull it out, now I'm just going to be really careful. So when you pull it out, it is going to have a little bump right there from where you did all the pushing and you can still see the line. Now I'm still going to cut just a little bit bigger then the line all the way around. Okay. Now, like I said, you should let it sit for a little bit longer, if at all possible. I, because I'm me, I chose not to do that. I have a little bit more experience than some of my students, as I've been doing this for either all of their lifetime or most of their lifetime. Doesn't mean you're not fabulous, just means that you're not as old as I am. But that's okay. All right, so once I've trimmed it, it's still really important that you keep that shape. So I'm actually going to just use my finger and kind of roll this edge a little bit. So I'm pushing from the inside with my inside finger, and I'm kind of going like this, just to give it a little bit more extra oomph. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'm going to support this edge right here, and I'm going to kind of use my finger to blend out. I'm going to support with this finger underneath. And I'm going to blend out that line a little bit because I don't want that. I don't want that line. I don't want it. Okay. So just a little bit all the way around. And like I said, if you do let the stiffen up just a little bit, it doesn't have to be full leather hard or anything like that. But if you let it stiffen up, you can even wait overnight. Like if you start this at the end of class, um, just wrap the whole thing up in plastic and just let it sit on top of your project for overnight, that's totally fine too. But if you started at the beginning of class, you should be able to most likely finish it by the end of class. Okay. So now I've kind of gone all the way around 
And I still am trying to keep that nice domed shape. You'll be able to um, stick it back, like dome it a little bit more once it's on there. But at this point, go ahead and check and make sure that, you know, it fits. So mine does, like, I'm not going to have any extra trimming. And you can see, like, it's got a slight dome shape. Okay, so I'm not, like, I wasn't going for a super crazy dome. So now I'm going to do the slipping and scoring. And if you do set this down on the table, set it down on the side. You want to be flat anyway. Don't set it on the side that is domed because you just spent all this time making it domed you don't want it to like undome right so you want to make sure that it stays domed all right so we're gonna score all the way around yay okay and then we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add on my dewdrop fairy just a little bit like a dewdrop fairy around here while i score the other one so that way i don't have to set the scoring down on the table again i'm gonna support it and score it remember you can do this with a needle tool also it doesn't have to be my little scoring tool honestly most of the time with students the needle tool works better students who use the scoring tool tend to not score enough which is why i generally only use those in advanced because they usually do pretty good with it all right so now i'm gonna take this and i've already added my dewdrop fairy kisses on here of water so now i want to be careful not to push down in the middle right if i push down in the middle then it's gonna squash my dome and i don't want to squash my dome Okay, so I'm gonna be really careful and still squeeze the edges. You gotta make sure stuff comes out. You wanna make sure that you added, um, that you have enough scoring and that you've added water in there that it's really gonna stick real good, okay? Because you don't wanna make this and then have to redo it again later. Now, never, like I've said a billion times, never add extra water to our kind of clay. Now you can either use your finger to smooth or, you know, and if it gets dirty, wipe it off. You can use one of the ribs to smooth as well. And these ones and the Starbucks card looking ones, haha, they actually are Starbucks cards. Uh, they're really soft, so you can actually bend them into the shape that you want, but also keep those clean. And you can just go around and kind of clean up any little funky bits. And if it's too squishy right now to clean up, like if you still have some lines and stuff, that's okay. Just wait till it's a little bit harder. Now, since it's sealed right now, I can actually puff it a little bit more. So like if I squeeze on my clay a little bit, I can actually dome it just slightly more. If you do too much, it'll pop like a balloon. But if you do just a little bit, then you should be good. So like I said, let this sit for a little while till it's leather hard, and then you can finish blending out. If you need to add in a little extra clay and, you know, do some of those things like we've done in previous videos, that's okay too. But there you go. That's how you dome the top of whatever shape you want. I need to fix that. All right. Thanks, everybody. Be creative and make it a good day.